All right, we're back again. Here's a really, this is gonna be a really, really quick one today. I've had a lot of questions about using MIDI controllers with the uh, RC600. And a lot of people are are asking me what, what works, what doesn't work. Basically anything works. This is, an, this is a, this is a called a Cuneo. As you can see, it doesn't have um, five pin MIDI out. It only has USB. So what you need is a MIDI host. So this is actually the Keith McMillan MIDI host. They call it a MIDI expander. Um, but there's a link in the description I can, where you can see what a MIDI, um, where to get a MIDI host. And it, but basically all it does is it just takes, it takes any simple MIDI controller like this, USB controller that only has USB out. So this is a pro programmable MIDI controller that you can assign uh, functions to all these buttons and faders. I've just had this thing sitting in a box. I just took it out for... Um, demo purposes, but so I'm coming out of here with just USB. Normally you'd go to a computer with this, but you don't want to bring a computer to a gig because that's a pain. So this thing just pretends it's a computer. So you plug in the USB here and then you get the MIDI, the five pin. So then I come MIDI out whoosh, into MIDI in here. And then I set, I just told, I told, um, I programmed this thing on the computer that this would be MIDI CC number 81, right? And that's a fader. And, I, and then I assign track two level. See, something's playing on track two. And there's track two level. And now I can turn up the level using the MIDI controller. See that? And you can set any level you want. And you can go, now if I go to the assigns, watch, go to assign. Say I made it MIDI, eight, oh, it's MIDI 82. Can you see that? There we go, MIDI 82. It's in momentary mode, so wherever it is on the fader. And as you can see, it's not a, it's, it's still, it's, it's acting as an analog fader because it's sending a CC. And then I have, I have it set as my track two level. The minimum is zero. So obviously that's zero. The maximum is 110. You know, I can set that to 200. Watch. That's really loud. You know, and you could, or you could set that to maybe it only goes up to 40. Watch. It's quiet. All the way, all the way up is quiet. So I like to have it, you know, around maybe 110. So there you go. That's how it works, right? And you can do that with anything. Here, I'll show you something else. So obviously, a lot of people are going to want to use faders as the track volumes. But don't forget, you can do all sorts of other... I mean, this should be pretty self-explanatory, but I'm going to explain it anyway. <laughs> but you can use the faders to do anything. So here's something cool. So say we got this thing playing here, right? Now I'm going to turn on... My, t my track effect A, and I have this set to. How fun is that? There you go. So you can you can do it to anything, you know. So all the way I did that. Let me stop that. So the, that stupid loop. Okay. So here's um. So I just use the same MIDI CC as the source. And then, but you just change the target to whatever you want. So now I have it doing track effect A. So when we look at what's track effect A, it's the low pass filter. And when you do track effect A control, it's the cutoff. So watch, the, the cutoff goes up and down. As I do this, the cutoff goes up and down. See, not very complicated. Remember, all this stuff is in the manual. Here it is. Read the manual. That's what he's saying. Read the manual. <laughs> All right. Read the manual. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So this this is the Cuneo by Keith McMillan. I'm not a huge fan of this one. I'm getting I'm getting a, another MIDI controller that's coming in the mail that I'm gonna set up and use it with a MIDI host, not this MIDI host. I don't know if this one will work. This might just be specific to Keith McMillan. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this thing, but it's, it's kind of cool. Um, the buttons can only send notes. It doesn't send CC messages, which is kind of lame. So it's basically just like a drum. But you can do all sorts of cool things with this thing. And it looks cool. And remember, looking cool is half the battle. All right, you guys, enjoy. Mini host.
USB MIDI, RC600. Like and subscribe. Subscribe.